folks. I'm sitting here bored, going over stuff on the YouTube, looking at various stuff, and seeing where some guys had uh, taken videos of their collections. So I thought I'd do the same. It's a small collection. Um, I had this stuff for sale at the flea market, and somebody ended up stealing a valuable jitterbug from me, or not jitterbug, but a uh, pumpkin seed by Hedden. So, being a carpenter, I built a case I can put a lock on. So they have to ask me before they can look at something. We'll start off with uh, what's laying on top, and I got three moss bo bosses in the package. Um, this one's not a very good one. Got crammed in the top of box by somebody. But this one I believe to be 80s era. And this is uh, 70s era. Looks like the packaging from what I can tell in the books that I've researched. Um, I'm going to use the term vintage instead of antique because the definition of antique means 100 years old or better. So these are all vintage lures. Uh, let's get in the case. This will start off right up here at the upper left corner with a couple of head and tiny tads. A creek chub. Here's a couple of head and tiny lucky 13s. Here is a jitterbug by Fred Arbogast. Here's a jointed jitterbug. Here's another one of a different color. Could use a little cleaning, looks like. Gets that white film on them. There's smaller jitterbugs. Um, here is a Fred Arbogast. Arbogaster. Pretty good shape. Missing the tail. Or the skirt, rather. Here's another jitterbug. Got a lot of jitterbugs. I like them. Um, to me, they're one of the best top water plugs in the springtime you can use it's nothing like watching a bass come up to the top and hit it here's some head and sonics one well, got a bill on it here is a head and tiny floating runt this one here is a head and prowler pretty decent shape This is a, a hidden dang quiver. This one is a hidden chuggy chugger junior. Here is a hidden tiny chugger. Here is one of three World War II jitterbugs I have. You can tell World War II because they have the plastic bills, or lips rather. Um, government wouldn't let them use aluminum during World War II, so they started making them plastic, and they're kind of hard to come by. Hardware isn't so good on this one. Um, here's a Hooler Dancer. Looks like with the original skirt from Fred Arbogast. There's a couple of smaller jitterbugs. This one is a doll top secret. Here's another jitterbug. The quick best jitterbug I found is this frog color with the yellow belly. And they quit making the new ones you buy now are all got white bellies. But I like them with the yellow belly. And the most luck with them. Uh, here's the, one of the other World War II jitterbugs. This one's in a lot better shape. Hardware looks real good. And here is a head and midget digit in black. Here is one of my pumpkin seeds. I'm thinking of the book can go anywhere from $50 to $75, $100 for 
for good ones. So that one I had was older than that that got stolen. There's a crazy crawler from Hedden. There's a Hedden Baby Lucky 13. And there's a larger pumpkin seed by Hedden. It's pretty good shape. And there's a smaller tiny crazy crawler by Hedden. And here is another World War II jitterbug. Got a real nice bill on it. And here's another different color. Jitterbug. These two don't have any names on them, but they're kind of unique looking. Got the original tail. Looks like they're feathers. One's clear, one's white. And then we got some smaller hula poppers for fly rods. Here's a hula popper in an original box. Pretty decent shape. The box is pretty good. Looks like the original skirt. And here is a South Bend Baberino wooden. Here is a Hawaiian Wiggler from Fred Arbor Gast in the box. The box is not too good shape. The lure is decent. It's got the original skirt on it. Let's see it's sticking to the box a little bit. And here is a South Bend Bassarino with the glass eyes. It's real good shape. They don't get a lot of money, but it's a wooden plug. And it's decent. Here's a brand new jitterbug, red and white, in the box with the papers. And here is a head and brush popper. Original skirting. Various colors of tiny torpedoes. Various hula poppers with without skirts. And here's a head and lucky 13 in the box. And that pretty much concludes my fishing lure collection. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, I got a tool collection over there if any of you are interested. I might get into one of these days. A lot of stuff on there to film. It's mostly King Cutter stuff from E.C. Simmons. Tool manufacturer out of St. Louis. Thanks for watching.